Hi guys, and welcome back to another Gab's Cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out the electrical analysis like this. So kahapon, di ako nakapag-provide ng video kasi medyo mahina yung internet connection. But nonetheless, nakapag-record naman ako actually ng video kahapon. Sadyang sobrang hinala na internet dun sa aking pinuntahan and that is of course a political rally. And siguro just a quick word lang regarding sa political rallies. Remember guys, it doesn't matter kung sino man isasupport nyo, Mapa BBM, Mapa Lenny, or Risco Moreno. What matters is you practice your rights of suffrage. Kasi remember, yung mga ating heroes, pinaglaban nila yung ating kalayaan para makuha natin itong freedom at kalayaan na makaboto sa dadating na election. So always note na every vote matters. And remember na yung isang boto mo, pwede niya mabago yung outcome ng buong election. And that is why you have to practice your rights of suffrage. This coming May elections, remember to take part in it. And just basically practice your rights. It doesn't matter kung sino man i-boto nyo. As much as possible, you practice your rights. But anyway, let's dive into this video and let's go back to the cryptocurrency market. So from our previous update, what, what we were monitoring was this actually itong falling wedge na nag-form within the early time frame. And you can actually see that in the 15-minute time frame. So, and then diba sabi ko sa inyo, ang magiging target ito would actually be the top of the wedge, which is ayan. So some would say that this was a potential bull flag kasi yun nga, meron tayong pull and then possible na bull flag yung movement. But ang nangyari ngayon is just this falling wedge lang na which actually played out exactly as predicted. So congratulations guys if you have traded that. And But then ano ba nangyari after nun? So kahapon dapat mag -re release ako ng video na regarding this Bitcoin bearish divergence na nag-form. Na ready ko na nga yung video kahapon sa dyang hindi ko lang siya na-post. But yun nga meron tayong Bitcoin bearish divergence forming within the early time frame. Kasi look at this, the price was increasing while the RSI was declining. So that was a sign of a bearish reversal. But earlier today, nagbigay ako ng update sa ating Facebook, Telegram, Discord group. Now, what we are going to wait out is for a bullish divergence to form. And luckily, right now, we are now forming a bullish divergence in the early time frame. Kasi look at this. The price is declining while the RSI is increasing. So that is a sign of a bullish trend reversal. And as you can see, we are also forming a falling wedge within the 15-minute time frame. So what we can target from this movement is actually the 41.7K. So right now, that is what we are going to monitor with the Bitcoin price action, especially within the very short term. And if you're going to look at this in the daily time frame, let's try to zoom out in the daily time frame. You can see now we are currently seeing a massive resistance at the 100-day moving average. We were actually rejected twice by this area. So right now, we are actually currently testing this. But right now, I think ang magiging next understanding natin dito in order for us to see now we are going to flip 100% bullish is for us to break this 100-day MA kasi if we're going to look back in time no na-break natin yung 100-day MA ito kasi the last time na na-break natin yung 100-day MA tingnan nyo to guys na-break natin siya we actually went up significantly with the Bitcoin price action so right now 100-day MA is now going to be a crucial area to watch out for the daily time frame but on top of that maganda pa din i-monitor itong ascending triangle in the daily time frame na we are still monitoring kasi look at this this is going to be a massive move it's just that wala pa tayong nakikita breakout within this massive opportunity and as for the descending triangle na fina-follow natin for the 4-hour time frame you can see na we are actually breaking out but yun nga nagkaroon tayo ng bearish divergence so that was actually rejected by the certain area which is actually a previous resistance around the 42,000 US dollars so that is a crucial resistance na kailangan din natin ma-break then siguro if you're going to zoom in dito in the early let's try to analyze kung ano ba yung magiging next move so siguro if you're going to look at this you can see na meron tayo nag-form na support and then we also have a resistance line forming so you can see now we are actually forming an ascending channel within the early time frame so right now this is what we are going to monitor if we are going to continue this bullish movement but take note guys ito yung kailangan nyo intindihin if mabrick natin yung support na yan then we might actually go down to the bottom of the channel which is around number one the 38k number two around the 39.7k so right now you know akin yung monitor with the bitcoin price the ascending channel the bullish divergence, the falling wedge, as well as the daily time frame, ascending triangle and 100 day MA. So yun yung ating monitor ngayon dito with the Bitcoin price. And guys, I've actually opened another long position here in Bybit. It is actually a 1.3k US dollars position size na naka-open ngayon dito kay Bybit. And if you want to trade Bitcoin with the lowest fees possible as well as Ethereum, just use my sign-up link na you can find the description down below. And now, let's talk about the altcoin market kasi look at this guys, the Bitcoin dominance is actually breaking down. So this is now indicating that we are seeing a possible altcoin season or siguro let's say ongoing altcoin season kasi look at this we are currently breaking down from the support so right now we are seeing a massive movement for the altcoin market or relatively healthy ating altcoin market kasi look at this dominance is declining and remember 
whenever the dominance is increasing, that would indicate that altcoins are going to bleed. But if the dominance is declining, then that would indicate that altcoins are going to perform better. And right now, this is declining. So this is indicating that currently altcoins are currently performing better. So with that being said, let's quickly dive into Ethereum and let's give you a quick update. Kasi diba, previously, what we were monitoring was this symmetric triangle. Nagkaroon tayo ng breakout. And look at that, we actually got another rejection dito around the 3,000 US dollars. Kasi if you're going to zoom in in the early time frame, we formed a bearish divergence within the early time frame. But similar to Bitcoin, ang kailangan natin tingnan dito would be this support na forming within the Ethereum price action. So you can see now we are we are potentially forming this ascending channel or you could somehow say now we are forming a rising wedge. But one thing's for sure dito, we have a we have a clear support area na we have to watch out for kasi of course, in order for Ethereum to remain healthy, we must hold this line forming within the for our time frame as well as in the early time frame. But as you can see, Right now, if we're going to break the 3,000 US dollars, then our next target would be the 3,200 US dollars. And that is what I am currently monitoring for the Ethereum price action. And siguro, last but not the least, let's give you a quick update with SLP. So let's dive into the SLP price action. As you can see, uh, if you're going to look at the RSI, the RSI is not yet indicating a bullish or bearish signal yet. So as of the time being, I'm going to expect more consolidation with SLP. But nonetheless, this is looking healthy right now for SLP. Because look at this, we are not currently bleeding, hindi siya So that is indicating that we are just moving sideways within the SLP price action. Looking at the early time frame, wala tayong good buying or selling opportunity. So right now, we are not expecting any massive move for the SLP price action. And siguro just a quick insertion lang topic. Since yun nga, na-open natin yung presidential election na topic. Yung aming team sa Gab's crypto Facebook page as well as Telegram and Discord group ay nag-hand out ng survey across all of our members. And as you can see, ito yung naging outcome ng ating independent survey. And take note if you want to join in our future survey dito. But it's more likely ang next survey namin would be around April 30. Pero kung gusto sumali sa aming election independent survey, you can actually join our Facebook, Telegram, Discord group na you can find the description down below. But as of the time being, as of this recording, ito yung ating current result based from the March 21, 2022 survey na hinand out namin sa mga members natin in across our social media sites. So take note, kinawala namin itong results, binigay lang namin yung survey, and then ito yung nakuha namin result. As you can see, ito yung ating top 5 with Lenny Robredo leading with 55% and Bongbong Marcos at 32%, which is actually, kung ako tatanungin, medyo dikit siya. Pero yun guys, if you want to take part with our election survey, you can actually join our Facebook and Telegram Discord group. And take note guys, we are just only going to do this twice. Yung una, which is Kapon, and then the second time would be around April 30. But nonetheless, mas marami pa din yung ating crypto signal sa ating Facebook and Telegram Discord group. If gusto nyo sumali, then sali lang kayo guys. And of course, nagpo-post din ako ng mga updates doon na if let's say hindi ako makapag-upload ng video kasi yun nga, katulad kahapon na nawalan ako na internet around the rally, tatry ko as much as possible magbigay ng updates sa ating Telegram, Facebook, and Discord group na you can actually find the description down below. So ayun muna update natin for the time being. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more contents like this, please subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video and bye-bye for now.